Hi again, Garrett Smith here with DIY PBX. Welcome back and thanks for watching. This is video 17. In the next couple of minutes, you'll see an overview of the Asterix command line interface, thanks to our head trainer, Kent. Here's Kent with a step-by-step -step overview of the Asterix CLI. Kent with DIYPBX.com. Right now I want to talk to you about some basic Asterisk command line uh, interaction to monitor your extensions, your trunks, uh, monitor some live calls, and uh, see what's going on. So right now I want to take you into the Asterisk command line. To do that you just type in Asterisk dash R. And now you are in your CLI. So from here we can do a SIP show registry, which is going to show you our trunk registrations. They're still there. We can also do a SIP show peers, which shows you an extension. Uh-oh, we see that this one's unreachable. That's okay because I actually unplugged it. Um, and it should be unreachable. That was that extension we set up earlier. So you can see your individual things from there. You can also do SIP show peer 100, and it'll give you all kinds of detail uh, so that you can tell everything that's going on with that. You can see it's a polycom. Uh, tells you quite a bit about that individual phone. And you could do the same thing with SIP show registry. Uh, you can also uh, do a set SIP debug on. Oops, SIP set debug on. There you go. SIP set debug on. And you can watch the actual SIP traffic as it passes. What we'll do is we'll dial our little uh, phone number again. Let me make sure I've got it. 77. Uh, seven seven three. I gotta do eleven digits. Seven seven three seven four seven six thousand. We'll call that and we'll watch it. Oh, four four not found. Try that again. One seven seven three seven four seven six thousand. There we go. It's telling me the person extension one zero zero is unavailable because it sent me to my voicemail. You, if you were watching this the entire time, you would see it uh, whipping by there, just like when I just hung up. And you can see all kinds of information about where everything came from, and you can get all this great SIP information. Um, this is really great to watch on a slower system, a little harder to go through on a busy system. So what I recommend you do is exit out of here and we would go to CD Verilog asterisk and in here you can see there's several logs the one we're real interested in is full uh, we're keeping a full log of everything that's going on and what we could do is we could just do a tail of full and you can see the last little message in there it actually is getting the fact that we turned SIP set debug on, which I may want to go back and do SIP set debug off. I don't want to swamp my logs. I can go back here. And in here I could do uh, more full grep for 100. It's going to give me all the messages with 100 in here. And <laughs> you can see everything that went on with the number 100 in it, which is going to be quite a bit. What I'm real interested in is when it went unreachable. So you do a more full pipe to grep with dash I unreachable, and now I can see the times that Pier 100 went unreachable for me. Um, and this is a good thing to see, you know, when your stuff is going up and down, you can kind of do an overview. You look in the full log, you're generally going to find the answer to the problem. You just may not be able to interpret it. But if you post it in some of the forums, 
uh, you may find a, a lot of help there uh, with people, especially if you can give them some stuff out of the full log. But SIP show registry, SIP show peers, uh, SIP set debug on, and repping your full log is really the way to go to check out what's going on with some of your uh, extensions and trunks and anything you might be having a problem with as far as calling goes. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIYPBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.